or something. Man, like body of a man, uh, or no, like the the torso that's a, of a that's like, a minotaur. Tor no, torso of a man and body of a horse. Oh, the, oh yeah, the horse one. Okay. Yeah, I love minotaurs, dude. They're so sweet looking. Uh -huh. All right. <clears throat> Branches caught and snagged and snagged on her, on her cloaked as she fled. Cloaked, as she fled, the bang of hounds grew closer. The Duchess's men couldn't be too far behind. Damn them all! She pulled her cloak tighter and tried to go faster, but she simply didn't have the woodcraft needed to get through the forest at speed. Um, every time she tried to, she tried to pick up the pace. She'd stumble over a root or get whipped in the face by an unconventionally positioned branch. Um, I'm just scrolling down to the porn. <laughs> ah, here we go. Um, she's uh, she leaned over the lip of the well of a well um, and stared in the darkest depth. A rope hung hung down the center. She pulled on the rope. It seemed to hold. Maybe it could bear her weight. It wasn't. It wasn't as tough. Sh it wasn't as though she had many options. Lillian, oh, that's a nice name, pushed off the side of the well and began sliding down the rope. After four or five feet of rope, sh the rope groaned ominously. A second later, there was a snap and it came loose. She plummeted the rest of the way down the well and crashed beneath the surface of the water. She sank until she hit the rocky bottom of the well, and and the breath was blasted from her lungs. A dizzying few moments passed until she recovered from the blow. She kicked off the well bottom, furiously struggling for the surface. Her, the compulsion to breeze was too strong, though. She felt water fill her lungs, and all thoughts of swimming fled. She choked and sank back toward the bottom, desperately trying to find breath that would not come. Her vision narrowing. The t time was short. It's this is better than, or it's better than the Duchess's drunk dungeon. She thought a phantasm appeared before him, the barest outline of a woman. You don't have much time," said a voice in Lillian's head. A voice was not was that not of her own. I could send you far away from here, from the water, from the man. You could live. The fantasism. The fantasism. What? Oh, okay. I guess nothing. Reached out and brushed her cheek. She felt the the barest tingling. It would cost you, though. You need to bridge th between the worlds. Lillian desperately reached a hand towards the figure before her, but it was no good. Her eyes closed, and it was all black. When eyes opened again, the scene had changed. She was, she was lying on her back now. There was no water, no fantasism, no sounds. She sat up. She sat up. A field of grass surrounded her. A few trees were scattered throughout the area, but the forest, the well, they were gone. Where was she? Hoofbeats sounded somewhere behind her. She turned and saw what she thought was a man galloping towards her on a horse. Looking closer, she realized the two were attached. The in, instead of the horse's head was a man's torso, and the man part of the creature was well muscled with long blonde hair and dark eyes. See, blonde hair again. God damn it! Every every single story with a minotaur, they have blonde hair, unless they're picturing uh, Fabio on the minotaur. He had war paint on his face and chest. A ragged strip of cloth was tied around his left bicep. He had a wide stub jaw. Ow. The horse part was a dappled chestnut color. Same as everything else. Lillian screamed at the sight of this foreign creature and ran away. But it was an exercise in futility. The creature ran her down and knocked her to feet. Hold it, two legs, I yelled. Er, it yelled. Uh, Leave me alone. Get away, Lillian yelled back, scooting away. Cease your noise, mutant, the beast growled. Mutant? I'm the mutant. Look at you. Yes, look at me, with four strong legs as nature intended, and you with the legs of a monkey. You're not even human, Lillian said angrily. I don't even know what human is. I am a centaur. If human is what you are, then that's a pit pitiable thing to be. Lillian picked up a rock and threw it at the centaur who dodged aside. Knock it off. You're coming with me. I don't believe my herd has seen a human before, the centaur said. I'm not going anywhere with you, Lillian replied. Is there? Yeah, this kind of sucks, man. I'm just yeah. I'm looking for the porn now. Oh, here it is. 
Uh, thank you for saving me, Lillian said quietly. I may, I may have had to be the one thanking you if you hadn't tripped. You were so brave. And An Ancus replied, "Look, I'm sorry for trying to save you, but it wasn't, it wasn't lying about the wildlife. As you saw, I still want to make you my herd, but as a guest, you'll be safe here." Lillian leaned forward and wrapped her arms around the centaur's waist, waist on impulse. Maybe it was staring death in the face, but Lillian, but maybe it was gratitude. But at the moment, she simply wanted comfort. Anch Ancus seemed at a loss for what to do with the strange creature hugging him at first, but eventually putting his arms around her as well, as they stood, as they stood that way for a while. She finally let go and looked up. Sorry, I, I'll go back to sleep. Uh, I kind of interrupted her with a kiss. Before she knew it, her arms were back around him. This time with greater and a different kind of urgency than before. The kiss deepened as he pulled her up to her tiptoes. When they separated at first, they stared at, another, at one another in a mixture of lust and confusion. Lillian's eyes drifted down and went wide. The embrace had evidently had the same effect on Ar Arcanus. I just can't say that name. It's like A-N-C-H-I-U-S. Anxious. 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 As it had on her, though it was much more evident on the centaur. She hadn't really thought much about it, but his man parts were on the horse half. Her eyes followed followed a cock <laughs> the length of her arm as it flexed involuntarily, <laughs> almost bringing it up to the centaur's chest. I'm sorry, Lillian said, not taking her eyes off his mentor, mentor or off his member member. I want to, but I don't think we can physically. I think you're right, he said with a chuckle. And I thought, well, we, can, we can't we can do that, but we can do something. She got up on her tiptoe and kissed him once more. Before he could say another word, she knelt down and slipped down beneath him. The last of cock was even more intimidating up close. She wrapped her hands around it. Two is hands he, is were... he hard right now or something? Something like that, yeah. Two hands were, no. weren't enough to encircle the entire thing. Jesus, what is Christ. the girth on that bad boy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm putting yeah, I'm putting my hands together, and there's about maybe three inches of like mm -hmm. space between. What the fuck? Not entirely had, not entirely uh, sure on how to proceed. She began stroking his cock, each each move stretching the skin up and down about a foot or so. A foot? Oh my Whoa, god! Whoa, damn! That's nice. She got a close-up view as she rubbed. It was far different than anything she'd seen before. She'd known a few men in her day. True, public displays and talks stuck to a strict adherence to virgin brides. But she had a few dalliances. Or dalliances. All young men and women in, noble, in the noble houses had. Uh, this is one... This was one... No, th this one was nothing like Cox she'd seen. But the, but then it, but then wouldn't it be right? It's basically a horse cock, but she couldn't make herself think of it that way. She saw a man, Ancus, Anxious, and 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 Anakin Skywalker. It's gonna call him Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, it's cool. The the vision of him protecting her from the wolf played before her eyes, as she knew that she would never see him as a beast again. The centaur's cock was a dark, shiny brown along most of its length. And at least half a foot or so, it changed to a bright pink with a jagged and uneven line of demar de demarcation, de demarcation between the two. The head of the cock was strangly, strangely shaped, almost like an upside-down mushroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> As she rubbed, she saw the head flare and grow to almost twice its normal size before sh shrinking down again. It's weird. She spread her lips on the edge. At the edge of the flared head and gave it a tentative lick. Anakin Skywalker groaned somewhere above her as the head grew once more. She sucked on the engorged head, trying to pull more of it into her mouth, but she couldn't fit more than half of it. That's just half of the tip. Instead, she ran her tongue alongside Whoa, the flare head. I know, right? The flared head, brushing against the very prominent <laughs> opening in the center. Anakin Skywalker's cock flexed at this, and the head was pulled from her lips with a popping noise. I guess I guess he's just she's just sucking her off sucking him off now. She grew more confident I and don't know, like he sounds he sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like fucking four feet long. That's insane. 
She grew she grew more confident and licked and kissed with more enthusiasm, sending Arcanus's cry or Anakin Skywalker's cries louder. Next she sucked one of the massive testicles in her mouth. It barely fit. She was careful not to let her teeth press against it. She wiggled her tongue along it against it crazily and pulled back slightly, stretching his scrotum. His cock jerked hard in her grasp as she hastily switched again. It was so hard and it flexed now she could she could barely pull it back down to her mouth. She still she had to sit sit up higher and compromise. Her heads her hands gripped and stroked with all the strength she had and wrapped her mouth around the bottom half of his head, struggling to simulate as much of the engorged, flared head as she could. Yes, yes, cried Anakin Skywalker. She felt his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that just ruins the entire story. It's me calling him Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> she felt his cock start spasming, and she held on for she held on for all she was worth to keep it from getting away. More cum than she'd ever seen in her life sprayed into her mouth. There's so much, there's so much, and if, and it shot it with such a great force that jetted back around her lips and all over her clothes. Jesus Christ, but she didn't care about that now. She kept it until the cum finally stopped flowing, teasing and licking out every last drop the centaur had to give. Finally, the cock began to soften, and she watched in amazement as it vanished, re reeling back close to the body. She emerged, smelling musky and covered in the fruits of their passion. That, Anakin Skywalker breathed, was, well, I could tell you that no centaur has ever done that to me before. No? Lillian had mild surprise. She knew the men she'd know had, had before had certainly expected it. As you said before, it is something we are physically incapable of doing, Anakin Skywalker said. Oh, yes, I could see how that could be a problem. Well, perhaps I did it better then, though. I, a proper thank you, she smiled at him. That's the part one of it, but I don't know where the part two is. There's two parts. Someone had to take their time and write that. That yeah. probably took a while to write. No, they, 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 yeah, they created this entire fictional land, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, they probably based it off something else, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't believe how huge this guy was. <laughs> I know, right? She stuck her entire mouth through it, and he only got half the tip in. Which was Ow. 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 Okay. There's a couple of them here. Horse loads are huge. Axe. So. I know. Have you seen a video on it? I saw the red one, or the red one on yeah, Reddit. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's fucking like four, it takes like four minutes for, all, for it all to come out. Hey, you guys seen one on Reddit? What was it about? He just a horse coming, and it's yeah. a dick. Oh, I seen I seen this one where the girl was bent over and she was she was showing it in her and then it just went. Um, was it on X and X X? No. Okay, because if it was, no, then I was. then I saw the same one and that was a dude. Uh, no, it was a chick. Well, the one that I saw was a dude. Say my name. Yeah, I don't know, but okay. it took like about a minute for to go. Yeah. Okay. Strip search. Sex on a trampoline. Sexual assault. Cur <laughs> sexual assault course. Or tits up in the garden shed. Um, I'm liking the sexual assault one. Sounds kind of cool. Okay. Short story, my ass. It's like fucking forty paragraphs. Okay, I'll I'll just read the first two paragraphs, and we'll just find the sex. Okay? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it catches. Actually, on. maybe the first four because it describes her too. So. Well, I don't want to see her. <laughs> she better okay. not be one of those fat chicks. Nah, probably not. All right. Aaron Schultz had just one year left to serve in the army when he was suddenly posted to the remote island of Ana Anawaka and Anakoa in the Pacific Ocean. It was a small listening post. Outdated, but for political reasons, the military had decided to keep it open for a while longer. There were just six servicemen and two officers, both women. <sighs> Captain Nancy Woodhouse was in charge, and the Lieutenant Selena... Ow, I keep hitting my mic. Selena Rodriguez. 
acted as her second in command. Although, although she was actually an army nurse on his arrival, he would. Er, uh, okay, never mind. As although she was actually an army nurse, on his arrival, he was ushered into the captain's office, and after the us usual formalities, he was allowed to sit down. We don't got. We don't. We don't. Right, okay, I'm gonna actually put voices to this. Okay. We don't go for a lot of bullshit around here, she told him. <laughs> we do our job, keep the place clean, and we generally tweet, treat each other as friends. She got it for, from her desk and walked around the office. Around 30 years of age, Nancy certainly kept herself in shape. She was slim, had blonde hair, beautiful eyes, and had great legs. Aaron could see a lot of them because of, because of her skirt was definitely not regulation length. Okay, now it's porn. Porn. Porn, 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 porn. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. We have to go. We we have to give Private First Class Schultz a complete physical lieutenant. The lieutenant looked quite pleased at the news and told Aaron to remove all of his clothes immediately. He felt most embarrassed doing it in front of two women, but orders were, were orders. Whereas the captain was tall and slim, the nurse was on the short side and had been had a little more meat on her. Particularly in the tit department. <laughs> she may not have had the beauty that her commanding officer had, had or, but he did notice her sensuous full lips that she licked continuously as he took off his clothes. The tent put his f put her fingers under his balls and asked them to cough. Aaron's dick, having become erect, waved a little from side to side as a greeting <laughs> from an old friend. <laughs> the captain sniggers, sniggered? Sniggered. Snickered. Sniggered. Whoa. Obviously finding it quite amusing. He looks, he looks in pretty good shape to me, the nurse grinned in the most unprofessional way. Fit for the initiation test? Fit for the initiation chest, she replied. All right, I'm not putting voices in. Nah, fuck it. Okay. Walking over to the door at the side of the office, she used she used to be the officer's. No, this used to be the officer's gym when the base was much larger and a lot more important. She informed Aaron. Now we use this. Now we use it as kind of an assault course. Aaron wondered what the hell he was doing, what he was going on, as he was ushered into the room that didn't look like a gym at all. The only things that resembled the exercise equipment were, numer were numerous piles of mattresses scattered over the floor. The strobe lighting and Wagnerin' Wagner music while the, lieutenant activated his, while the lieutenant activated a switch gave more of a nightclub atmosphere to the place. The captain, the captain who was the only one wearing a, wearing a skirt and shirt, kicked off her shoes and cried out, if you, can, if you can catch me, you can fuck me, and started running around the room, jumping over the mattress like whoa, a gazelle. Whoa. You heard what she said, ordered the lieutenant. Get going. We don't have any time for slackers around here. It was the most bizarre situation Aaron had ever found himself in. But with an but the lithe long legged captain Woodhouse jumping up and down to piles of mattresses shouting, What are you waiting for? He figured he was up for the task. He as soon as sh as he took off, so did she. With her skirt riding up her thighs, she weaved through all those piles of mattresses with Aaron in hot pursuit. Occasionally, she would do some sum would do a somersault, and shouting "Wee!" <laughs> as she did so, and the nurse standing at the door was laughing and goading on her. Soon, getting a little more use used to this unusual assault course, Aaron eventually got her cornered and brought her crashing down onto one of the mattresses. He straddled her body and literally tore her shirt off. Her tits were amazing, cone-shaped and perky, with the most with the most delicious looking erect nipples as he began to nuzzle them and run his tongue through her crown she she wiggled out of her shirt what i'm just listening to music oh okay Pound you're not even listening to me i'm not i'm not your music no i can still hear you okay now now there was nothing between his dick and her cunt but a pair of brief white panties to to his surprise she suddenly became a bit more violent slapped him across the face quite hard Suck them harder, she cried out. Harder. Aaron almost took half her tit in his mouth and sucked for all he was worth. That's it, she groaned. That's it. She rolled She rolled around and arched her back, flung her long legs. 
I can hear your mom. What? Long, flung her long legs all over the place. And then without warning, in a sort of unarmed combat move, she spun him over his... She spun him over onto his back, diving down at his dick. She took the whole thing in her mouth. As she slid it in and out of her mouth, she using her tongue for great effect. Her long nails dug into his groin. It was pain, ecstasy, at the same time. He found himself breathing hard and dying to come in her mouth. But this was not the captain's plan. Just as his balls were feeling as though they were going to explode, she got up and started running again. His legs were a bit like... A bit <laughs> what the fuck is happening? His legs were feeling a bit jelly-like, but he staggered after her regardless. Now at the point of desperation, he just had to fuck her. And... And he attend and and he intended to fuck her good. It wasn't easy running over the mattresses, even even as and even she stumbled and Aaron saw an opportunity to pin her down again. However, it didn't quite work the way he thought. Just as he believed the, he had the upper hand in a move that would make Jackie Chan proud, she flung him over. <laughs> she whoa, flung whoa, she what? flung him over her shoulder and onto the floor. A little shaken and dazed, he looked up to find that they had been joined by Lieutenant Rodriguez, who was completely naked, except for a tattoo on either of her huge tits that read, Sweet and Sour. Oh, God. He didn't have a chance to make to make another move, as the sexy-looking nurse dropped on top of him, facing backwards and covering his face with her hairy snatch. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> it smells quite sweet, as though, as though she had had a perfume. He, dis he discovered that it didn't taste bad, either. The lieutenant, seemingly quite happy with his decision, kept repeating the, the word "lovely, lovely, lovely," as she moved. As he moved her tongue slowly around her slit, she, he was quite enjoying the experience himself. But as a shock, it was without warning, an reverse cowboy literally fell, literally fell onto his big stiff dick. <laughs> she began to <laughs> pounce up and down, riding like a rodeo rider, and feeling this dick being plunged so deep into her cunt just drove him insane. He dug his fingers into the squirming lieutenant's thighs as as he licked her like he'd never licked before. Within a short time, everyone is yelling. Everyone is yelling as both the women reach climax and they are shot an enormous, enormous load into the rider's cunt. As they all lay on the mattress for a while, the captain sat up and looked down at him. You've passed, you've, you've passed muster, soldier. Uh, now you report to this room every Monday and Wednesday at, at 10 or uh, at... Ten hundred hours. Do I make myself clear? And put his legs together, the best he could, and gave a weak salute. Yes, ma'am. With this, she went looking for her skirt, and the nurse slapped him on the ass, winked, and got up and and got up to return to her duties. That's it. Wow. Oh wait, no. There, wait, no, there's more. I had to scroll down. Aaron, staggering to his feet, dragged himself back to the office. The captain was already sitting sitting at her desk, long hair a little tussled, but otherwise she appeared completely unfazed by the experience. She looked up at him. Soldier, you're improperly dressed. Get your clothes on or porn to... For porn? For, um, fucking... Report to duty. Um, Aaron obediently began to pick up his clothes as the captain got up from her seat. There's just... There's just one more thing before you leave, soldier. Yes, ma'am. Just sit up on the on this here desk. I want to... Oh... I want to have another taste of that big, lovely dick of yours. Yes, ma'am, he said. Always, always ready to oblige. That's the end. Oh, my... Stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't go with it. Um... I don't really know. <laughs> you know how girls always take pictures of their legs in the bathtub? Mm-hmm. A guy did it, and all you can see is his nuts, and they're like, hey. <laughs> Retweet it, if it's on Twitter. So, that was fun. Adderall to stay focused, okay. Xanax to take the edge off, pot to mellow me out, cocaine to wig me out, back up and morphine, well, because it's awesome. <laughs> the, the last one wasn't that good, but... They're still nice. They're still pretty good. I don't know. I like the first one that you read better. Yeah, the incest one. Yeah, that one was pretty awesome. Um. 
Yeah. I th those last two I actually recorded, so yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, so you were, you recorded all of us when you were doing the, uh, the incest one? No. No. Say my name, say my name. Did they, did they get rid of the what the fuck section in, in Reddit? Um, no, you have to actually, like, type it in now. Like on the website. Oh. Oh yeah, I see. Okay.